Lieutenant Gam, please verify that the Navigation Department provides an updated course to the homeworld of the occupant of cell H2 prior to his release. Yes, Mr. Spark. I'll take care of that right away. So, Sidano, you're back from sick bay. What did the good doctor have to say about your heart? Dr. McCoy said I have to make sure and get plenty of rest after my heart surgery. He emphasized that medicine can only go so far. I don't think that's true, Cyrano. The body in medical terms is very much like a machine. You have to give the proper fuel. To keep it running, you have to replace worn out parts or repair those parts. But where do you improve any machine by letting it sit idle? Well, I don't know about that. But he stressed that getting plenty of rest was crucial if I was to get back to full health. That's nonsense, Cyrano. You don't rest a machine to make it run better. I guess that's right. But, hmm. Mr. Mudd, Mr. Jones. I happen to overhear your remarks. Yes, Mr. Spock. The argument you are employing, Mr. Mudd, is not logical. In fact, it exhibits the fallacy of the false analogy, or the fallacy of the incorrect comparison. I thought he was persuasive. That may seem so, Mr. Jones, but his argument is invalid. A false analogy is an incorrect application of the valid reasoning method of reasoning via analogy. Analogies are commonly used for illustrative purposes to make a complex process or idea easier to understand. Correct analogical reasoning draws a comparison on the basis of what is known and proceeds to assume that the unknown parts may also be similar. The fallacy consists in assuming that because two things are alike in one or more respects, they are necessarily alike in some other respect, with that added aspect going beyond the apt comparison that prompted the analogy. Further, analogies become false or faulty when they are thus overextended or presented as conclusive proof. Mr. Mudd, you employed this fallacy when you suggested that because the body was in some respects like a machine, and since one does not repair a machine by resting it, one should also not need to rest a body to recuperate. But the analogy breaks down, since machines are incapable of healing as human bodies can, and that that healing is aided by rest and lack of exertion. Yes, of course. Thank you, friend Spock. Indeed. I shall definitely endeavor to reword my statements in the future, my good sir. That would be best. Even if an argument seems to make sense, it cannot be valid unless the form is valid and that it does not exhibit one of the logical fallacies such as the faulty analogy or the false comparison. It's only logical.